Now, the rest of the story. Our nation suffers a chronic shortage of good automobile mechanics, but St. Joe, Texas has a good one. Cars talk to Jeb Clayton. Even the complicated new models with all of their electronic gadgetry and crammed, jammed engine compartments, you pull into Jeb Clayton's garage in St. Joe and he'll listen to your car and with skilled, practiced, greasy hands, he'll go to work, whether it's a tune-up or changing out a transmission or relining brakes or whatever it takes. Jeb Clayton, where stars are concerned, has the magic touch. But this is the rest of the story. Once upon a time, this... More than half a century ago, Jeb Clayton was a 20-year-old roughneck in the oil fields near Munster. Already, he was an ace diesel mechanic. There were four-cylinder diesel engines and some six-cylinder engines on the line on an oil rig. And when they ran, they sounded like a swarm of bees to most folks. But to Jeb, those whirring motors made music. And then one day, there was an accident on the rig. Jeb survived, but he spent months thereafter flat on his back. Good part of that was recuperation, but six months after the accident, young Jeb was still home in bed, and his friends were getting worried. The doctor said there was no reason for it. Said it was time Jeb get up and go back to work, but the only times Jeb got out of bed were meal times, after which he'd just go back and lie down. Maybe it was the thought of those rigs, whatever, because after all, they had nearly taken his life. He was determined not to give him a second chance. Then one evening... Jeb was talking to his brother, wondering what on earth he, Jeb, could do with his life if not work on the oiled field diesels which he had so loved. Jeb's brother was an automobile mechanic, and he recognized Jeb's uncommon mechanical aptitude. And he, the brother, suggested they go into business together. They open up a garage. Well, that's what they did. They opened up a garage. First shop was behind the St. Joe Bank. The reputation of the two young mechanics spread quickly, particularly Jeb's. He had a magic touch, customers would say. And indeed, when the brothers retired 13 years ago, longtime customers just would not let Jeb sit back and take it easy. They continued, even after his retirement, even after he'd closed his garage, they continued to take their cars over to his house and their trucks over to his house, and the farmers would bring their tractors, even riding lawnmowers, for every imaginable maintenance and repair. They would not let Jeb retire. And they're still taking their machinery over to his place to get it fixed to this day, because customers still marvel at how Jeb seems to take the pulse of an ailing automobile much as a doctor takes your pulse. Very similarly, he does it with his fingers, He'll move his fingertips over the engine block, sensing what lies beneath. And that is the real magic of Jeb Clayton's touch. That's the magic. It begins with the fact, well, the fact that he never did fully recover from that oil rig accident more than 50 years ago. For ever since then, Jeb Clayton, the master mechanic, has been totally blind. Now, you know the rest of the story.